Good Saturday evening. We've got strong storms on the way. Those are already in Mississippi sparking some tornado watches. So we're going to be keeping an eye on those. Here in Alabama though right now just seeing some lighter showers still pushing their way through out of the south and much warmer muggier temperatures than you normally expect in December. Highs this afternoon still climbing around 6 p.m. into the mid 70s around 75 degrees just here in Tuscaloosa alone. But as we start looking more towards a southeasterly view, you can see that large band of showers and storms continuing to develop off to our west around the Arkansas uh, onto the Mississippi area, getting into Tennessee as well as into western Mississippi. And that's going to continue to advance overnight tonight. We're not going to see it here in Alabama until far later, at least midnight before it's going to clash with northwest Alabama. Looking at those watches and warnings right now, you can see the two tornado warnings that are right now just south of Memphis, as well as the tornado watches running all the way from just outside of Jackson area, running up into the Columbus, skipping Alabama for a portion of the Hamilton area, and clipping some of our more northern counties into Huntsville. So we likely won't see any tornado watches there, until at least until later tonight around the 1 to 2 a.m. timeline when we see those storms getting a little bit closer to Alabama. For right now, things are mostly calm here. As you could say, it's the calm before the storm. Futurecast showing those storms making it here late tonight. And those are going to quickly push their way out as well. Here we are tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. Behind us is some much cooler air arriving. That's going to provide the opportunity for north, far north Alabama to get some freezing rain a little bit. Not a lot though. That's going to be just to those northern counties here in central Alabama. We're not going to see any of that. Temperature is just a little bit too warm for that to happen. And as the system pushes through, it's going to quickly get out of here. Areas like Haleville and Coleman may be seeing the opportunity for maybe like 30 minutes of some freezing rain. But overall, they're going to be out of the situation as well. Just maybe some locally cooler areas catching a little bit of that. And even if there is any freezing rain tonight, temperatures from today were so warm that ground temperatures are going to be very hot. Anything that falls on it's going to melt. Those showers tomorrow, though, those are going to last with us throughout the day. Finally getting out of here later on tomorrow afternoon. Though some of our more southern counties running all the way from Marengo up into Cherokee. Still seeing some of those showers still lingering before they finally get out of here. And for Monday, still seeing a few clouds trying to hang on but we mostly clear out as well as cooler temperatures finally arriving those can continue to stick with us those continue to push on out by Tuesday mostly sunny skies and temperature is about what we would normally expect for this time of the year with tonight's severe weather risk main area being west and northwest Alabama as that system is going to be pushing through it's actually going to be weakening no matter what though the entire portion of central Alabama, including the state as well, seeing the opportunity for some very strong winds that could cause a little bit of damage. Definitely going to have the opportunity to knock over some trees with 65 mile per hour gust. Now West Alabama does have the opportunity for an isolated spin up tornado thanks to shear being created by these stronger winds. When they're running against each other, you can get a very quick spin up tornado. But chances are very low tonight. Main things going to be those stronger winds that we're going to have to worry about. Once we get out of Sunday, we get those strong storms out of here as well as those windier conditions. Monday, Tuesday, we're going to be clearing out and warming up slowly. Wednesday and Thursday, we see another round of showers. Wednesday will mostly be dry. It won't be until later Wednesday that we see that rain arriving. And for the morning portion of Thursday, thanks to a front that's going to be developing over Alabama, actually, and that's going to quickly get out of here. Friday mostly clear and just when we think the rain's gone again once again another batch you can almost say we're on a roller coaster effect with rain this looks like we're going to have another chance for a few showers later Saturday going into Sunday both for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day.